Welcome back, friends and fans, to Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. Look at that beautiful monstrosity right there, a Ford Mustang that we've restored. It's called something different in the game. But anyway, we're going to go check out the um, junkyard here today to see if we can find some more cars such as this. So I'm using a little bit of a, mo a modded profile just to get everything in the garage just to do some rebuilds of classic cars. But I'll be continuing to play my regular game soon. So if you want to see us uh, rem remember the green mean machine and a few other things, don't worry. They're coming along just now nicely and we'll be back there soon but here today we just want to see everything in the game and uh, check this out a Shelby Cobra beautiful absolutely gorgeous a little bit of maintenance to do on this kind of car but anyway let's head over to the junkyard I've actually never been there before so let's take a look and uh, let's go ahead and see a look at all the barn finds we have holy crap every barn in the city is at our disposal to go find a, a classic car but let's go take a look at the junkyard so I have no idea what we have uh, in store for us at the junkyard apparently it offers much better cars than the barns do though I believe a barn is pretty much like a either a, a super awesome car or something first first time being here first time being to the junkyard all right let's see what, what they've got to offer here oh boy all right let's see what we got oh man it's gonna be epic I know it's gonna be epic welcome to the junkyard holy crap wow there's a lot of cars here and they're all junk would you imagine that? Hello? <laughs> Please let me... Oh, wait. We're at, oh, no. We're, we want to be here. I'm just kidding. All right. Let's take a look and see what we can find. Ooh, is this a classic? Oh, my God. Already we found an epic race car. I believe you can actually give this car a... Uh, actually, let's take a look at... Uh, oh, overview. Oh, it doesn't like... You can't actually see what kind of a car it is? Oh, that's... Uh, wait. Oh, yeah, you can. Very good. All right. Looks like it is the... Um, oh, the Bolt Roulette very beautiful looking car and uh, actually I think this one is modifiable to have a uh, race paint job on it so there you go already a great car that we've found let's see what else is around here oh god a gremlin no th <laughs> no thank you uh, let's see here uh, too bad we can't drive the forklift around in order to like load it onto a flatbed now that would be sweet let's see what else we got here vans wow the I've noticed uh, when we go to these external locations away from the garage, it's just super loud. Like the barn just sounds like you're next to a uh, rushing waterfall. Check that out. El Camino, baby. That's nice. I like those. They're very, very nice. When people restore an El Camino, they're just beautiful. It's an interesting car, isn't it? It's a part car, part truck, but man, it's really cool to see those restored. Oh, and check this out. A classic pickup. Very nice. Usually in the barns, you can only find three, but we've already found uh, four cars here or three cars. No, four. Yeah. Very nice. Oh, wait a minute. There's even more. Oh, man. Really? Back to the GT2000. Very nice. Oh, and that's really beat up. Holy crap. Look at that. That's awesome. Pallets. Oh, another pickup. I wonder... Ooh, wow, that's an interesting paint job. Is that a blue or a pink? What is that? It looks like a light blue. Very nice. Oh, and yet another little gremlin. Look at that. Or whatever it is. I don't know. Very cool. All right, let's see if we can take this semi. I want to take this. No, I'm just kidding. Unfortunately, you can't work on semis in the game, but it would be definitely sweet if you could. So we're going to go ahead and start on restoring one of these vehicles. I think we've already, um, I don't know, the uh, Gremlins I'm not really interested in. The bu Imagine redoing a whole bus. That'd be crazy. Wow, there'd be a lot of parts to repair on that thing. Uh, let's go back up here now. Oh, is this another car? Oh, no, it's... Oh, it is. Oh, wait, junk. Oh, oh, uh, we can... We can actually find parts in here if we look. Yeah, there you go. Lots of different parts that you can find here, just like in the barns. Very interesting. I think it's the same here, yeah. I'm not really looking for parts today. I'm looking for cars. And it looks like that's probably junk, too. So I think what we should do is uh, doing a pickup restoration would absolutely be fantastic. So we can get one of those in our garage. But let's go ahead and... Uh, and we've already done the GT2000. A pickup would be another great thing to do another time. And... Uh, Wait a minute, is this another car we can restore to, or is this junk? Oh, we can't even look at it. So two pickup trucks, an El Camino. Let's go with the, uh, let's go with the classic, uh, where is it over here? Our little uh, roulette race car. I'm not even sure what type of car that's supposed to be in real life, but I've seen that one with a paint job that makes it look like a race car, so we're going to go with that. So our first car that we found is our winner here today. So let's bring it uh, back to the garage. Current color is purple. Okay, $18,000 to buy. All right, let's take her back to the shop. And let's see, I want it brought back to the garage. All right, we're going back to the garage, too. So that was a cool look at the junkyard. A lot of cool things to find, a lot of good junk. 
Um, I suppose you should probably look in every no nook and cranny to make sure that there's not cars hidden elsewhere. I bet cars have random uh, spawn points and also the junk too. So you're going to want to spend a lot of time at the junkyard to find all the parts. You can see every time something gets highlighted in yellow, you can actually search it and uh, find parts in there. And of course you can always sell those later after repairing them for a good pretty penny. Takes a little bit of time, but definitely worth your time. Alright, let's head back to the garage. Yep. Oh yeah, uh, yes. Oh, cool. It prompts you if you didn't leave without items to buy. That's very nice. Very helpful to make sure you don't leave without actually, uh, you know, buying something. It's, it would be nice if the barns popped up more often, though. But, you know, they're not supposed to be as... Uh, as they're supposed to be more rare, just like the uh, junkyard is. So we're going to try to start restoring that car. Restoring that car? Yeah, there you go. Man, I'm, I'm excited to... Uh, really excited to start restoring uh, that new car here. So uh, I will be live streaming some more. By the way, this is the uh, this is the garage that I'm using for some of my live streams. So again, if you want to subscribe and check out the streams, you can come watch uh, us build cars live. We did this one live too. The whole community pitched in, and it was absolutely gorgeous. And apparently, the car is from the Netherlands. So very cool. Oh, uh, let's get this one into spot. Oh, what, what does this license plate say? South Carolina. All right, we're doing a South Carolina car. Don't know if I'm a fan of the purple, but anyway, let's get this one up on the rack. And let's go to. Uh, Oh, no, not the paint shop. Uh, let's go to car lifter C. There we go. Okay, perfect. So we'll be working on the Trans Am sometime in the future. We'll be working on a Dodge Challenger and a Charger, but right now it's this one. I'm not Actually, I'm not even sure what this car is, so uh, we'll be uh, finding that out soon enough. Looks like it does have all four tires. That's a big plus, so we can actually move it around the garage. That's good. Hmm. Well, first and foremost, we better pull that engine out of there. And in order to do that, we got to disassemble the uh, gearbox. So let's get her up in the air. And uh, we want to restore the body. And so that means all parts have to come off. We can then wheel it into the paint shop, which is over here. If you haven't yet seen the paint shop in the game, really cool. You can put str uh, race stripes and so many different things on your car. So you just wheel it into here and uh, give it a nice paint job. Very cool. I lo look at how sterile it looks. Just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So we'll leave that for a little bit later. Okay, let's bring the engine crane over. Uh, where is that? Oh, it's over here. Perfect. And uh, we'll get ready to use that in a little bit. But first, we've got to take the engine out of it. I think it's car lifter C. There we go. And then we'll put our engine over here and work on it as soon as we're done taking it out. So we'll at least get the engine out here today. And uh, we'll get ready to do a paint job here sometime in the future. Oh, look at that Shelby sitting over there. That's a nice color. I would prefer... What color would you... If you could have any color Shelby in the world, which one would you choose? Let me know down below in the comments section. I'm curious to know. This is a nice little mustard yellow color. I like it. I like it a lot. Red would be nice. Blue. Uh, maybe, even a, maybe even a darker green would definitely be sweet. Okay, let's go ahead and get all the stuff off this thing in order to paint. So uh, first and foremost, we got to remove that gearbox. Actually, we're going to work on the engine uh, as well. So let's let's get the gearbox off here. Oh, of course, the drivetrain has to come off. So we'll have to uh, go into the back here and pull that off. I always forget about the drive shaft. Come on now, you're coming out. No hiding from me. All right, so four bolts on the back. And I'm going to be mixing it up in this series, by the way. Uh, for those of you who want to see me continue the actual, uh, you know, legitimate gameplay and such, don't worry. I plan to do that. But also, I want to, you know, jump ahead and see what the game also has to offer, too. Uh, you know, people will lose interest in stuff over time, and I'm just going to say that this game is fantastic. So I want to play it both legitimately and see every single little thing that this game has to offer. And uh, though, it, again, the, the Steam reviews were poor at the start because of the optimization, it's just gotten so much better. So very soon we'll be able to put superchargers and turbos into cars and do so much more. We can actually, uh, actually we can disassemble the rest of that stuff on the, uh, on the crate, so we won't do that. Um, what else do we need to take this thing out of here? I think that might be it, just to take it out of the engine uh, compartment, the engine bay. Let's go ahead and lower her back down. And we got our hoist here ready to go. Hopefully that's all we need, right? All right, let's see. Uh, pull out. There we go. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so it should be over... Well, actually, technically, it's in our inventory now. It should show it on the uh, crane, but now we got to put it on here. So let's go ahead and pop our engine here. And uh, it's the same engine as we were repairing before. Uh, there we go. Okay, I have an extra engine too from the Trans Am over here, so we got an extra one in our inventory. But it doesn't matter, they all take the same engines and the same parts. So let, let, look at that, that's beautiful. Wow, that's going to be a real cool rebuild. I've already done one of these before, but I can tell you uh, <laughs> it doesn't get boring. Rebuilding a V8 is, uh, is not a boring task. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at the car then. What else do we have to repair on? We're just going to give her a once-over since we really haven't looked at it other than the engine. Yep, suspension's all definitely going to have to be ripped out. The... Uh, 
The exhaust didn't look too good. Let's pull the door off just so we can take a peek in the car. Ah, interior doesn't look too bad. That actually, that seat right there looks in decent condition, though it's only got one of them. We'll have to also get one of those uh, bench seats in the back. Looks like it also requires one of those, too. So very cool. And look at that, man. The real rear spoiler is going to be real beautiful. I think, I wonder if the trunk has a spoiler that goes across it as well. Going to be real gorgeous. So as soon as we pull off all the parts, all we need to do is um, basically... Um, you know, start repairing the body. I think we can do that right now, but technically I wouldn't want to repair the body until all the parts were off. So uh, let's go ahead and pull off all parts. I'm, I'm going to rebuild the engine another time. Let's get this uh, disassembled. The engine's pretty easy to do. It just takes a little bit of time to do it. So let's pull every single piece of uh, equipment off here. And the reason we're doing that is so we can paint it and repair the body. We'll also do the same with the interior as well. So let's go ahead and do that while we're at it. So just a disassemble of... Uh, ooh, that, ooh, that looks nice. Even though it's a little crappy at the moment, it's still nice to be able to sit in there. Okay, let's go ahead and pull this out. Can we do that? No, oh, we got to go into interior disassemble. There we go. And the driver's seat and steering wheel are coming out. Very good. Oop, sorry about that. Uh, let's go back here. There we go. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and raise her up into the air. Looks like there's nothing else we can pull off. Uh, well, I guess the bumpers. Let's go ahead and pull off the bumper. There we go. And we'll do the same in the back. Mm, doesn't look like there's even a bumper here. Okay, let's raise her up. There you go. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Just a wonderful, wonderful car. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, wheels then. We'll take those off. My hope is to uh, try to get all this done before the end of the episode, folks. So hopefully we can do it. All right, let's time me. It's, we're doing NASCAR now. Pit crew right now. Here we go. Now, of course, the nice thing with this modified profile, too, is that we can take a look at everything and just, you know, see everything the game has to offer. This is it. This is the best of the best. This is the best your garage will look when you first, uh, when you continue working. So though it might be a little boring to do those brake jobs and stuff, it's going to be necessary in order to get to this level of greatness. It's awesome. Now, once we got all these parts off, we can repair them over at the repair bench. For the parts that we can't repair, we can always purchase more. So uh, that'll be easy. And then we're just going to pull everything off the car and do that wonderful paint job and body repair. Very nice. Oh, let's get that wishbone shock absorber off. Let's get the uh, lower and upper suspension off. There we go. There comes the upper next. Now those rubber bushings, those are something that you can never have enough of too. So for those of you watching, make sure you always buy, if you're going to buy one rubber bushing, go ahead and buy 10 because you will be using them and they're definitely very important. All right, let's go over to the other side. Let's pull off the other wheel. All right, there we go. So again, I don't know what kind of car this is. So you guys, if you haven't already, remind me of what kind of, what, what type of car this is supposed to be. It's uh, in the game. It's the Bolt roulette but uh, in real life i want to know what kind of a car this is it looks gorgeous and uh, can't wait to rebuild i'm actually going to be live streaming today though uh you know you guys th you'll be seeing this video a little later and i'm very excited to continue to play this game everybody's loving it me even me and usually i'm like oh man i gotta record today i oh i don't know if i could but this game i look forward to i shot out of bed to play some car mechanic simulator 2018 and man am i excited i'm loving this this is really nice to see how a car works and to take apart all those parts so here comes the bottom suspension of the driver's side. Here comes the outer and inner tie rods next. Let's grab those. There we go. And we'll have to bring her back down one more time to uh, get rid of the rest of the stuff in the engine bay. We'll have to pull out the brake servo, for example. All right, steering rack's coming out next. We'll get the exhaust a little bit later. There we go. Front sway bar is next. And there's a few other things I think we need. Yes, the knuckle over there. Come on, knucklehead, you're coming out. There you go. All right, now next is the uh, rubber bushings here around the uh, cross member. So we're going to pull each and every one of these out. We'll, we'll get to that radiator in a minute. Come back over here to the rubber bushing. There we go. Perfect. All right, let's pull this out. Wonderfully fantastic. So for those of you who want to see more of this too, by the way, uh, I'm going to be playing much more of this. I know you guys can't get enough of it, so I've uh, expedited it on the channel because you guys have been liking it like crazy and just showing your support and be like, when is the game? I need it. I need more of it in my life. And it's like, yes, me too. I agree. Let's, let's continue to make more videos together. Fantastic. Front exhaust is being removed. Middle muffler is coming off. And then our final uh, exhaust. Oh, actually. Oh, no, we have both mufflers. Eh, let's walk over there. There we go. Rear mufflers are being taken off now. All right, so the back end not looking so good, huh? Those uh, leaf spring rear drive axle looking a little, little, little icy there. Let's get these uh, tires off here. 
Now we can turn this into a race car, or we can turn this into a show car. So another thing I want to know from you folks watching is which one do you want to see? Do you want me to turn this into a race car, or should we just make it look super, super awesome and like make it a show car that you'd go to like a, you know, any any sort of car show or or a, you know collector's event or something like that? Drum cylinders out, knuckles out, rear shock absorbers coming out. All right, the U bolts now need to be next. There we go. These are a little more... I like taking these off. That's probably my favorite part of the of the back end of the car to take off. The U-bolts are just really cool. All right, leaf springs out of there. All right, let's go over to the other side now. Sometimes it's just easier to walk than it is to work with that camera sometimes. Oh, perfect. Oh, actually, wait a minute. Let's get the tire off. That'll be easier. There we go. Okay, so the rims are coming off. We're also going to have to choose some new rims, too. These, these rims are all right, but I think we could do a little bit better than this. All right, so back to the same thing. There we go. Man, oh man. So it was cool to check out that junkyard and do do a rebuild like this. This is definitely what I want to do. In the, this this is what I just wish I could do from the very beginning. I, I, I'd like to see a, um, you know, a legitimate career mode and also a free build mode where basically you can pick the car, you can pick the rust, you can just do whatever, whatever you'd like to do. And that's kind of what we're doing here today. So it's good to be able to bring this to you guys. All right, let's go ahead and pull off that other rubber bushing. Then the leaf spring's going to have to be pulled out after the U-bolts. And we'll get both leaf springs off here in a minute in order to pull off that rear drive. And there's the plate. There we go. And the leaf spring. Same with the other side. Oh, we got to take the bushings out on this side. Oh, how soon we forget, Dino Man. Over on the other side, too. There we go. Very good. Leaf springs coming out. And same with the axle. Perfect. Now, fuel tank. You're coming along as soon as we get the fuel pump out. And the tank is out. Perfect. All right. Wow. Just in a matter of moments. Wow. Did you blink? I hope you didn't because you missed the entire... <laughs> that was actually a lot faster than I thought. I'm getting better at this. So the whole car has been uh, removed aside from the brake servo up here. We're going to pull that out. Oh, and the radiator. Oh, and the battery too. Oh, battery. I didn't even see you. Perfect. So just three things to pull out and we're all done. Radiator C is out and finally the brake servo over here. We'll go ahead and pull that out, and that's it. Easy peasy. Okay, let's bring the welder over here. We're going to do a body job. Oh, looks like... Oh, battery charger's over here. I didn't even know we had one of those. Welder, you're coming over to uh, lift number C. There we go. Number three or C. Okay. Let's go ahead and use the welder here. And yes, indeed, we will. Perfect. Look at that. Very nice. All right, let's also do the interior uh, kit as well. Interior detailing. Move that over to car... Oh, wrong lifter. My bad. Got excited. Ooh, look at this. Yeah, the uh, Mustang was definitely... Man, that is just the... What year Mustang is that? Does anyone know watching, by the way? What what year of a Mustang does that look to be to you? Whew, man, that is that is too much car to look at, man. That's If you look at that for too long, you're going to fall in love. So don't do it. All right, $100, $100 for the uh, interior repair. Very nice. I like the purple, but I think we can do a different paint job. So let's go ahead and check that out. Um, let's go ahead and open up our doors here. Then we don't have to do it and pretend like we're going to wheel this thing in here. Actually... Now that I remember it, one thing that disappointed me is that we actually have to put the wheels back on to put it in here. I wish we could put it on some type of a, you know, get the body off onto, you know, put some rollers underneath here and just wheel the body in there. Like, that's something you should totally be able to do, right? But anyway, yeah, how soon we forget. I have to actually put wheels on it to paint it. But anyway, I want to know. We can paint it in the next episode. I'll just need to know what color you guys all want to see. So it's up to you to vote. Okay, we're going to try to repair every single part we have here. So get ready for madness as we go ahead and try to repair everything. So let's see what happens. Now, anything else we don't successfully repair, we're just going to go ahead and uh, buy a new part for. So it's not that big of a deal. So we have a 95% repair chance. We're trying to repair everything in our inventory. It'll just take a few minutes here. As uh, not every part can be repaired. Some parts we're going to actually have to repurchase. So that's uh, a shame, but it's all good. All right, well, it doesn't matter. We'll be able to repair another time. Okay, let's work on that engine, shall we? A little bit of uh, engine work here now. So let's go ahead and do some disassembly on the engine. And uh, hmm, let's see here. Or should we put some of the body back on? Let's see if our... Let's put the body back on, shall we? Let's go ahead and put some body parts back on. Then we'll work on that engine. Uh, hi, car body. I'd like to work on you, please. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's right. You got to go to assemble mode. There you go. Oh, no items to work with. Oh, really? Okay, so we don't have a left fender. We have the hood back and ready to go. Oh, front window. We're going to have to buy a new one of those. Nope. That's not looking good. Left side mirror is all good. Ooh. 
Why is that primer cut? Oh, is it chrome? That doesn't look like chrome. That looks black to me. All right, let's try to get the uh, trunk, which I don't think we have. Rear window, not looking good. Rear bumper, looks like we're going to have to buy another one of those. Oh, the body's... What what quick work the body is, because uh, we barely have any parts to actually put on here. At least we had both doors. There we go. And we have the fenders available. And that front bumper is not looking good either. Okay, let's do a little bit of body work. We'll, uh, we'll get started on the engine ASAP, but uh, we got to start looking at the roulette. So that is under uh, interior. And uh, we're going to look at the roulette. Wait, wait, wait. Not, not interior. Body. Body. Goofball. <laughs> bad. All right, my bad. Okay, roulette. R-O-L-L-E-T-T. -T. Is that how you spell it? There you go. Okay, so we are looking for all the windows. So let's go ahead and buy one of those each. So we want the uh, left, the windshield. Um, what else didn't we have? I don't think we had a right side mirror. We'll, we'll have to look at that. We need a rear bumper. And uh, did our front bumper turn out okay? I can't. I already can't remember. I don't think we had any of the tail lights. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and start installing some more things here. I like doing the body. E everything is fun to do. Oh, I thought we bought a new front bumper. All right, we do need to buy a left fender, too. Okay, so we need to buy a left fender. We need to buy a front bumper, which I thought we already bought. Right, maybe not. I'm getting so excited, I, do I, can't, I can't think. There we go. All right, that's looking good. That's looking good. Perfect. Okay, primer color looks beautiful. <laughs> Not necessarily, huh? All right, we'll have to work on that. Uh, trunk. We're going to have to buy a trunk. Let's see where that is. Ah, oh, there we are. Trunk's here. All right, we'll pop that on. Very good. Rear bumper we purchased. Tail lights. Wait. Oh, did we not pull the tail lights out? Ooh. Maybe we didn't pull the tail lights out. Oh! I just, I didn't even notice that those taillights were there. Let's go, are those actually, let's see if we can repair those. And again, if we always, if we purchase extras, that's all good. We can put them all into our warehouse. Looks like there's nothing we can work on. So let's take a look at the taillights. Are they actually in good condition? All right, we're going to look at the taillights here. Oh, let's try tail. There we go. Oh, looks like they're both in 100. Wow. The only thing on the car that's 100%. Very nice. Okay. Actually, no. They weren't 100%. The ones we purchased we were, were 100%. So we did need to buy those. So that's good. Perfect. Looking good there. And here. Wonderful. All right. Let's see. Rear window. Okay. We need to buy a rear window. There we go. All right. Now, I'm going to do some car auctions here in the future as well. So we're going to see a little bit more of that come into place. Oh, wow, it didn't even look like a window was in there. Front right window's next. So I plan to do every single little activity in the game and show it off to you guys ASAP. I don't have all the time in the world to play these. So again, the modified profile, is, it was definitely great to have here to show off all the game's features. Right side mirror is up next. There you go. We did have one of those. Beautiful. The body looking good. We just need the headlights in, to which we, we don't have any. So let's go with the left and right headlight. Let's just buy these new. They're only a few dollars couple hundred dollars, but definitely affordable. There we go. And the windshield. Which I hope we pop... Uh, there we go. Yes. All right. Very good. Okay. So the only the fender and front bumper were missing. Front uh, driver's side and... Oh, actually the trunk and a few other things. Good. All right. Looks good. Looks, looks good. Looks real good. Looks real, real good. All right. Let's get some custom license plates then. Uh, I'm going to get some custom license plates because you, you got to. You just got to. And let's go ahead and go with, uh, let's see, I did the Netherlands before. Let's do um, another country in Europe that I've been to. Let's go ahead and choose the country of Denmark. I've been to Denmark before as well in Copenhagen. So let's go ahead and uh, put in something here under our custom license plate. Let's go ahead and put in, uh, let's try Dino Man. Let's try that. <laughs> D-I-N-O space M-A-A-A. And, all right, let's try that. One Danish license plate. We need two Danish license plates. There you go, from Denmark. All right, there we go. Okay, let's go ahead and pop these on, too. Now, of course, when we do our taping, or when we uh, when we do our... Um, when we do our... There you go. Look at that. That looks nice. When we do our painting, uh, these will just be taped over. So I, I would like to just roll it in there with just the naked body and then come back and paint the parts individually. But I guess there's not a way to do that, so that's okay. We can't we can't have everything we want. 
There you go. Look at those Dino Man license plates. Isn't that sweet? All right, very cool. What what can't you do in this game? All right. Well, it is going to be time to start on the engine here next, and uh, I will see you all in the next video then when we will continue on with this. So, again, if you want to see more Car Mechanic Simulator 2018, make sure you're subscribed here so you never miss when we go live on the channel and do a live car build such as this. I'm going to go ahead and roll this one uh, back into, the, uh, into a, a storage area so we can get another car working here today. Actually, I think what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to move the Mustang out of here and work on a uh, Dodge Charger today on the live stream. So hopefully you guys saw that. If not, I'm sure the VOG, vlog, vlog, the, the VOD, there you go, is out. So I will see you all next time. I'm going to chill with some, uh, apparently some PlayStation here. So thank you very much for tuning in. We'll be back with more of that car. Don't worry, it'll be finished soon. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, everyone.